welcome back. Today we have three early 2000s cars. Well, 90s too. Um, these are all available in the 90s. So, yeah, yeah let's start off with the Jaguar. Here's my 2003 Jaguar XJ8. Here's an exterior view of the car. It's a nice silver metallic paint with asteroid wheels and starburst wheels. Here's the trunk. Another new part for my car is that thing right there. Um, CD changer. Any idea? That is the trunk of the Jaguar. <laughs> Power antenna. Rear seat of the beast. Uh, you've seen this car a couple times, probably. If you've been on this channel, um, you got your little armrest right here. Your seats are pretty comfortable, supportive. Um, probably are kind of small. Um, that's what kind of the gangsta lean, but normal lean. It's not that much room. It's got rear AC, uh, little backpacks, um, ashtrays, of course. Snickers, which kind of worth in the car. Another ashtray. Chrome uh, door handles. And the uh, oh. gas cap is right here. Locked, of course. Here's the front seat. It's a nice car. Um, it's got 133,000 miles. Uh, broken sunshades, but I do have little parts for them right here. Um, this is the non-wood steering wheel, so there should be wood right here and right here for the wood steering wheel. Uh, power trunk, broken front, um, got auto AC, valet mode that you don't want to touch that traction control off, hazard lights, power sunroof, um, another ashtray right here, cup holders, and yeah, here's the engine, we'll let's do a start up on the beast. Another tape on that keeps coming off. I'm going to put it in your car to back in the car. That's the engine. And that is the jam. Oh, and a few power mirrors. Uh, three memory settings for you. Let's move on to the next car. My. And my friends. 19. Or 2002 Mercedes Benz E 320. Rocking the 240 diesel Illinois plates, of course. That's the other one. Uh, here's the old bumper. That does not sound good. Seats are supportive, um, less than the Jaguar, but better than the truck. Glove box is all right. That cold AC radio kind of busted up. These are all busted up down here. More useless cup holders, as all Euro cars do. Again, um, here's a Coke. This is a tiny Coke, it's just in a big Coke. Uh, here are the, uh, this is a S refrigerator right here. Um, you have E320 badges in here. They're chilled, but they're gold, so. Not sure if we're going to put those on or not. Uh, here's the bottom, here's the top. Uh, pretty small, but uh, again, not useless. 
Um, you got a little pocket right here, a little pocket right here that doesn't really work too well is where the ashtray is. Um, good string wheel, nice little door pocket with uh, picking call receipts and blues receipts and um, and stuff like that. Uh, AC blows cold, has our lights, has slow. It's for the drop the headrest button, um, it's for the locks, shifter. Drive plus minus, you can do whatever. You want to go on the back seats? Here's the back seats. Uh, um, coffee stain. I forgot to clean that off. Yes, that's still sticky. That's nasty. There we go. Um, the nice little room for your legs so you do fit in here, even if the seat is pretty far back. That's good. I don't remember that yesterday. Oh no, that's on this. Oh, that's real nasty. Oh gosh. That's a yikes. Um, we got three seats. Now we got only two seats. So, you know, not best for all your kids. Sunshade. Um, nice seats. They're su being supportive. Nice words of the Jaguar. But they're good. Headliner is sagging. You do have a sunroof. Um, but yeah, it's a nice car. Uh, we'll see about that in. We'll clean that up later. Um, our, uh, everything's kind of nice back here. Again, ashtrays for the kitties. Um, yeah, that's the back seat of the bins. We'll move on to the trunk now. Here's the trunk. Suction cup for the door. Nice trunk. Let's see what's good there. This you can do a little trick, the rooster right here, and put it on the um, right there. Spare tire, I'm not sure about the rim, I think it's the black spare. You got uh, tools in there and everything. Here's the driver's seat of the bins. With I'll pick it up later. Don't worry. I litter in this beautiful Texas country. Uh, here's your key for the 24D. Um, I'm zooming in. It's not focusing. Yeah, so you got all bones on there. Uh, here's the key for the Jaguar, by the way. So let's go ahead and start her up. Smooth as ever. Um, you got some three power, power settings. You got your little buttons right here. This is the steering wheel. Cruise control, wipers. Oh, that's an, oh, oh. Shouldn't have done that. That was not a good idea. Um, anyway. Let's show you the heat. Big engine. Smooth. Nice ever. Nice smooth engine. So yeah, so that is the OG in this book. Right, so this is the new boy in the collection. 235,000 miles. It looks about the same shape as the J. And if you want to use the key, the actual key. Push that little button right there, and then pull the key out. Anyway, here is the full district file collection. My 2001 Ford F-150. South Texas edition. Oh, come on, Bronco. OJ, run OJ. 
empty room. So this is a stick shift, so you know, not the easiest thing to drive, but not the worst. There's worse out there. Um, this car is pretty basic, got a whole horn, got the lights, don't know what that does. Manual windows, radio AC, ashtray, uh, cup holders, glove box, um, single cab. So it's pretty basic, headliners just sagging a little bit in the back, which is better than the bins. Um, you got your little, uh, big, you got the big mirrors in this thing. And Jesus with this car. So, uh, big seat, a big rip in the dad in the seat. Um, you pull this thing down right, right here. Don't know where it is anymore. I lost it. Right here. Take the seat before forward. But we don't want to do that. Anyway, I'm not gonna stick, so I'm probably gonna start it up. Should we start it up a bit? But, um, but, uh, yeah, oldest in the collection. It was Jaguar, then, um, let's see if we can get this Mercedes, the old, the old one over there. Oh, here's this car, here's this car, then the Jaguar, then the Mercedes, then the Porsche, now that E Class. Um, so yeah, that is my car collection. Um, I'll do the full collection, I guess, today. Let's put it down for a second. Uh, oh, I can't get the, uh, the key out. There we go. So, let's move on to the next car. The uh, Porsche 928. Yes. This is the 928S. The uh, look how much to do here. It's kind of stripped right now. Um, but uh, these, this is the AC controls. This is the uh, radio. That's the interior. It's all inside right now. Um, here's the glove box. Uh, door panel. Um, that's the jack. Uh, yeah, we'll pop the hood and I'll show you what's else for this car. We'll do a quick walk around after we open this door. Last ran in September, late August, early September. Ooh, well, I guess, yeah. And last and definitely not least, my 240D Mercedes.
trunk has got knee class tires, some 240D parts, knee class part, um, plate for this car, triangle. Back seat, oh, that's going on. <laughs> Locked. Uh, it's got some SL wheels. And uh, let's check out the back seat first. Some more parts for my E, or my friend's E. That's kind of a shared car. I'll explain that later. Now. Later with you, I don't know the circumstances, so I post that video first. Um, but yeah, it's pretty comfortable back here. Got ashtrays, like all my cars do. Uh, toolkit, or I mean not toolkit, I'm retarded. Um, that's a uh, spare, I mean, what the heck. That is a um, first aid kit. If you pull up the little black thing right here, you get to the trunk. You can't use your trunk if it's not to kill itself, like in my hands. Manual windows, green headliner, which is also sagging. And yeah, we'll move up to the front seat before we do a little startup. Hundred and thirty-eight thousand miles. Seats in this car are not supportive. They're not firm. They kind of bounce around a little. Parking brakes right here. The lights are right here. Mirrors are right here. You got a little green boys. Um, here's some more. Here's some trim for this car. And that's the license plate cover for the class. Radio's down here. It's pretty hard to figure out, but I did figure it out. Climate control switches. Here's your AC. Turns it off. Horn. Um, big clock. No tachometer. Fuel, oil, all that stuff. All the fun stuff. Let's see what that's here it is. I have too many cars, there's sort of too many keys. Um, let's start it up now. Mercedes key, number two. That is the glow rod. And here we go. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. Okay. Well, it's loud. Uh, it's definitely very loud. Uh, we'll pop the hood and we'll show you what this thing's about. Here we go. something it's very tiny cool VIN number dirty it used to be clean but I it's dirty every couple weeks too much other work so yeah that is the collection Porsche Mercedes Jag Mercedes Ford and now we're well actually it's Ford Jaguar Mercedes Porsche Mercedes and that's how it'll be until this hour and I get another car. Or, yeah, let's just leave it like that. <laughs> um, that was my collection. So as I call the insert, here's one last view of the 